رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما What is Laylatul Qadr? Was the Quran completely revealed in night of Laylatul Qadr? And what are the encouraging acts we should do in this night? Now, Laylatul Qadr is the night of decree. And it is one of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And this begins from the sunset of the 20th day of Ramadan. So if today is 20th, the sunset or the Maghrib is an hour from now. Once the sun sets, this begins the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Laylatul Qadr is one of them. And the most favored night is the 27th. But this is not a well-known fact. It has to be on the 27th, like a lot of the Muslims believe. And also, it is most likely to be on the odd nights. That is the 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, and the 29th of Ramadan, the nights. And that is not the days. And this night, as Allah has described in the Quran, in a surah named by this night, that it is better than a thousand months. Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alfi shahr. This one single particular night is more important and better than a thousand months. And scholars differed. And one of their explanation was that Allah has given long life to previous nations. So the Jews came like 3,000 years before us. And they've lived for so long. The people's lives would be like 200 years, maybe 300 years, which means that they could fill it up with forms of worship far greater than the 60 or 70 years that we live on earth. Nuh, peace be upon him, lived 950 years. And some say he lived longer than that. He remained giving da'wah for 950 years, but he lived more than that. So they had long life and the ability to fill it up with good deeds, while our lifespan is short. So Allah is compensating us by giving us a night in a year that is equivalent to 83 plus years of deeds and good work. If we succeed in worshiping Allah in this night, which is few hours only, like eight, 10 hours, this would be better than worshiping Allah in 83 years or more. So this is a glorious night. The Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is to offer night prayer the whole night. Whenever the last 10 nights of Ramadan were due, whenever they entered, the Prophet used to tighten his apron or waist wrapper. Scholars say that this is a metaphor for not having any intimacy with his wives. And others say, no, this is a metaphor for trying to do his level best in wor for forms of worship. And he used to wake up his wives. Thirdly, he used to revive the whole night with night prayer over these last 10 nights. So what is to be done? Well, the Prophet's Sunnah والسلام, was to offer i'tikaf. An i'tikaf is to seclude yourself in the masjid and not to go home. So you spend the last 10 nights in seclusion in the masjid.
worshiping Allah, reciting the Quran, making dhikr, making dua, praying night prayer and qiyam al-layl. And you make a lot of dua, as mentioned before, you make a lot of dhikr, you try to isolate yourself from other Muslims so that you would not engage in chit-chatting, gossiping, etc. Something that is not useful for you, but rather focus on worshipping Allah Azza wa Jal and cleansing your heart from the impact the rest of the year had on it. Ten nights and days you spend and devote entirely for Allah. And this was the way of the Prophet ﷺ.